Hi, friends. Let's continue our education on the topic of digestive tract. And we will talk about stomach diseases and what kind of condition may arrive, arise if a person has a problem with the stomach. And I will talk about tiredness, anemia, and peripheral neuropathy. This lecture based on my previous lecture. So if you have not seen that, please go back and look at that because you may not understand what I'm talking about. When pain happened in the stomach, it will be in epigastric region because stomach located in that area. Most common conditions of the stomach, gastritis, inflammation, gastroparesis, means that stomach does not move fast so the muscles don't work well. Peptic ulcer, gastric cancer is uncommon, but it's almost, it, if it still comes with pain, the pain will be negligible. Usually pain starts in, in the beginning and then pain subsides and person does not complain that much. Gastroenteritis means that not only stomach, but lower intestines get a, uh, involved and acid reflux usually comes with gastritis. So when there is inflammation in the stomach, it can go into esophagus too. And functional gastritis means that when you do gastroscopy, there is nothing there on gastroscopy, but person is complaining about the pain. Common uh, stomach disease causes bugs, viruses, fungus, or H. pylori, chemicals, drugs, or exotoxins such as um, uh, that black stuff that comes from grilled meat or fish, stress or unknown cause. 95%, uh, let me just move myself, 95% of all stomach disease uh, from gastritis, gastroenteritis, acid reflux or ulcer. All of that is inflammation. I would not stop repeating it again and again. Uh, modern medicine about how much inflammation you have in cardiovascular system, in uh, in, uh, in, in, in your intestines, cancer is inflammation. So when happened inflammation in the stomach, you've seen this picture in the previous video. So this is the lumen of the stomach, the inflammation right here on the surface. That means that gastric pit is blocked. So the gastric juices, hydrochloric acid, intrinsic factor, pepsin get produced right here and they cannot get out to, to digest your food. So there is process, but the hydrochloric acid starts to break here, the tissues. So it creates even more inflammation in your stomach. So what's the consequences of inflammation being right here on the surface of your stomach? Gastrin get elevated. Hydrochloric and intrinsic factors are, get locked here inside the uh, stomach and they cannot get in, come to, into the lumen. As a result, remember the purpose of uh, the hydrochloric acid is to break the protein into individual amino acids. It's not happening. As a result, protein is not broken. Nutrients such as calcium, magnesium, and B12 are not released. Okay, uh, so B12 is not absorbed. Pepsin also is blocked here. Person never comes into the office and will say, hey, listen, I don't absorb protein. Patients will complain that they have low immune function because when protein is broken in the stomach and get absorbed, immune system will build antibodies from the protein. Person will complain that he has frequent viral or bacterial infection. Person will never complain that I have a low B12 in my, on my, um, in my bloodstream. They will come and say that, I feel very tired. The moment patients say that, immediately five possibilities have to be checked. And one of them is B12 deficiency called pernicious anemia. So there is anemia, there is no enough perfusion in the brain, person is tired all the time. So check for B12, check for the anemia. Person will never come and complain about peripheral neuropathy. They will come and say, I just feel like when I'm walking, I am not very steady on my feet because it seems like I don't feel my toes very well. So check for B12 deficiency, peripheral neuro, uh, neuropathy. You remember the slide from the previous lecture. I will just expand on that a little bit. Suppose per person decide to take PPIs. So you see the food, you, you're just about to taste it. And 
brain sends the signals through parasympathetic system. Okay, start to activate digestive tract. So G cells get activated, gastrin get produced, and overall gas, uh, that will stimulate gastric secretion. G cells, it will stimulate parietal cells, which will produce hydrochloric acid, which you blocked with PPI. So there is no hydrochloric acid. The protein cannot get broken down. So B12 is not available. So it doesn't matter produce or you not produce intrinsic factor. Hydrochloric acid from parietal cells will stimulate um, conversion of non-active pepsinogen to active pepsin. Pepsin will break protein further down. So you are not breaking the protein. So consequences, person complains about low immune system and tiredness. That's it, guys. If you uh, need a health coach, please hire me. Otherwise, like, subscribe. I want to say one word. I receive every day many emails from people who are watching my videos. I want to thank you very much. It's important for me because when I was working as a physician, it was constantly feedback. So patients come, I treat them, they get better. They will say thank you. Here, I talk in front of the camera and I don't know who is listening. Is, am I helping? But then I receive emails. People post here in the comment session section and they will say thank you and i know that uh, people are watching and i help people so thank you again very much bye bye for now guys